The internationally active company Coating Becker captivates with its extensive range of surface finishing processes. For its newly built plant in Saarlouis, we as the specialist company for blasting and paint spraying plants and conveying technology were commissioned to supply a surface treatment plant for blasting, powder coating, powder baking and conveying of all coating work pieces. The installed equipment has especially been designed for offering the so-called duplex process for the galvanizing of the manifold work pieces. Coating Becker is a service provider who guarantees perfection with its full service approach. And for this, besides technical skills, state-of-the-art plants and processes are required. Multi-layer systems are recommended for application in coastal and other outdoor conditions, in industrial and chemically contaminated areas, in road salt contaminated areas, and for products for which a long lifetime is desired. The working principle of duplex coating systems is based on the mutual protection both layers grant each other. On the one hand, the zinc layer is being protected from atmospheric and chemical influences by the powder coat. On the other hand, the zinc layer protects the powder layer from being undercut. The SLF plants are located directly behind the connecting gate between the galvanizing plant and the powder coating hole. Once the workpieces are hung onto the conveyor system, they're situated in the buffer zone right in front of the blast room. The recently applied zinc layer must now be activated for the subsequent powder coating process using a suitable blast media. In this case, corundum is being used. In a process called sweeping, now a little roughness is being created without removing the zinc layer. The worker then moves the workpiece into the blast room using a pull rod. The blast room's roof slot is sealed reliably with rubber lips. The working area with a size of 8 by 4 meters and 4 meters in height offers sufficient space for the execution of all customer orders. The first class illumination of 650 lux is achieved by four large dustproof LED spotlights. The worker works in a closed protection suit with a separate breathing air supply system. The blasting process is started by using a dead man's switch. A 200 liter pressure pot, which is located underneath the blast media silo, creates a continuous blast media flow to the blasting nozzle. A dosage valve can be used for adjusting the blast media throughput. All walls, roofs and gates are protected by a rubber lining of 10 mm thickness. A steady and sufficiently dimensioned air exchange is required to ensure a continuously well sight onto the surface which is to be treated. With an airflow of 7,500 cubic meters per hour, the contaminated air is sucked through the air inlets in the ceiling and subsequently through the baffle boxes in the blast room's walls into the filter unit where it is cleaned. The blast media is recycled and kept in recirculation for continuous usage. Under the full floor scraper floor, which is covered by gratings, a system of lamellar type conveyors operates. With interchanging moves in longitudinal and transverse direction, all discharged blast media and dirt is collected from the blast room. A bucket elevator then conveys it to the cleaning station on top. A vibrating screen and a wind sifting unit help to remove coarse particles and dust from the blast media circuit. These particles are then automatically discharged into a big bag. All control cabinets are installed in a room next to the production hall. The command units and signal lamps work fully automatically. During running operation, red lights above the doors and gates signal the active blasting process to passers-by. In the case of an unauthorized opening of a door or gate, the blasting process will immediately be interrupted by means of safety contacts. 
The blast room is designed for the passage of workpieces through the gates on both sides. The worker pushes the transport hanger to one of the parallel parking tracks between the blast room and the powder coating booth. The hanger conveyor system in this hall has 14 turning stations which connect longitudinal and traversing rails. Every workpiece covers a distance of 101 meters during its travel through the powder coating plant. In total, the length of the conveyor, including branch tracks and buffer zones, is 206 meters. Once the carriages are positioned smoothly in the turning stations, the transport direction is changed by means of pneumatic switches. The hangers are now brought into the large size powder coating booth. With dimensions of 8 by 4 by 4 meters, the size of the booth is the same as the size of the blast room. The illumination of the booth is designed to reach an even 900 lux using energy-saving LED lights. The blasted workpieces leave the blast room predominantly dust-free, but the blowing off before the powder coating process ensures that no blast media residue remains in the workpiece's angles. As a service provider, Coating Becker has to commit to various customer demands regarding different colors quickly. In a large storage area, many different powder coatings are kept in readiness for application. The mobile coating device makes quick color changes possible. Different working settings for a smooth coating process are saved as a recipe in the coating device's control. The manual application works in loss mode of operation. The powder is thus not being recycled. The electrostatically supported coating process is ideally suited for these strongly structured workpieces for the powder is able to lay itself onto all angles and tilts and thus creates a reliably closed surface. On the rear side of the powder coating booth, an open suction wall with a cartridge filter unit is installed. Via this suction wall, the air is sucked off the cabin with an airflow speed of 0.3 meters per second. Air from the surrounding hall flows into the booth via the open entrance. The cartridge filter unit has an airflow volume of 20,000 cubic meters per hour. Eighteen cartridges are cleaned one after another using air blast impulses. The powder that comes off the cartridges falls into two built-in drawers underneath. The internal walls of the booth are made from PVC and are thus easily cleanable using compressed air. In the next process step, the baking of the coating happens. The hangers are pulled out of the booth and are now parked in parallel lines in front of the baking oven. The oven has a length of 6 meters, a width of 3 meters, and a height of 3.70 meters. The oven housing is made of double-walled zinc sheet metal plates of 200 mm thickness and with a high-quality insulation filling. The insulation reduces heat losses due to radiation and ensures the highest possible energy efficiency. The ventilation happens through convection and with indirect heating. The air is sucked from the oven's interior by a fan, heated up with an air heater, and reblown into the oven. The fan creates an airflow of 30,000 cubic meters per hour. The airflow is designed for the highest possible temperature distribution. 
The baking temperature can be set infinitely between 150 and 230 degrees Celsius. The workpiece hangers can be brought into the oven on five parallel rails. The oven's control registers the oven's occupancy and shows target times and remaining times. Once a traverse with workpieces is ready, a signal tone communicates this to the personnel. Next to the inlet and outlet of the oven, other rails serve as cool-off zones. The adjacent hall area can then be used for packing work. Coating Becker advertises precious surfaces. And we are proud that we were commissioned to install the required equipment for keeping this promise here at the new plant in Saarlouis. The division manager, Mr. Marcel Kaidel, has learned to appreciate the cooperation with SLF. For some time ago, Coating started to plan a new plant for hot dip galvanizing. Parallel, a powder coating was planned together with partners. The question here was, with whom are we going to work? Who's able to offer us an holistic concept? And taking economic factors into account, with SLF, we've found a partner with whom we are very satisfied. Even alongside the whole design planning phase, the time planning phase and the assembly phase. What has convinced us in particular is the fact that with SLF, everything comes from one supplier. From the blast room to the manual powder coating booth, which has been adapted to our individual requirements, and the oven, which opens automatically. SLF did a great job in understanding and covering our requirements. In the future, we will plan other plants for other coating sites, in Germany as well as in the Netherlands. For us, SLF will be a partner for the future when it comes to paint spraying systems, blasting systems or powder coating systems.